Now that the long video game drought is over, and new games are finally coming out so hard that we somehow actually got a new Metroid, get ready to ignore all of that nonsense and fall back into your old habits by sinking hundreds of hours into a game you've already been playing for decades, just because it got a minor facelift and you fear change. Diablo 2 Resurrected Descend into the depths of hell once more as you rediscover the Diablo that gamers were more excited for than either of the actual new ones coming out. Did you guys not have phones? Yeah. With a remastering of the art and graphics that leaves the gameplay basically untouched because Blizzard didn't want to risk the furious anger of one billion nerds. Who just decided to get mad anyway because they didn't like the paladin's face or whatever? In a redone Diablo 2 that looks just like you remember it, until you actually click over to the old art style and realize how terrible it looks as you age a thousand years instantly. You chose poorly. Experience the quality of life changes added to the Diablo 2 formula. From the expanded stash base that allows you to keep stuff without making stash alts, to the shared tabs that let you pass items between characters without an elaborate workaround. Not that that will stop you from porting to town every time your inventory is full, which is like every three minutes. Then discover the strange feeling of relief that the game actually lets you pick up gold when you run over it, instead of grabbing it coin by coin like you're picking pennies out of a fountain and gratitude when you realize you can actually respect your character. That changes to horror when you realize you can only do it once per playthrough. And frustration when you find out half your friends got it on console and there's no crossplay. Although they'll helpfully let you keep your characters if you pay full price for the game again on a different platform. In a remake that sands off most of the rough edges you forgot about, that made Diablo 2 slightly less annoying to play, but still has that janky spiky exterior that's nostalgically a pain in the rectum. Remember, you paid for this experience, twice, and that says a lot about you. Look, no king shaming here. Head into the Bloodmore for the umpteenth time, as you choose from the many classic classes Diablo 2 has to offer, or just play the exact same thing you did the last time you played this game, and create elaborate builds from the triple skill trees. Then realize that the interface for multiple skills is still terrible, and make a dude that just right clicks on things a lot because you're a tired old person now as you plow through the game until your fun skeleton necromancer build becomes unsustainably awful, forcing you to go online to copy someone else's who actually understands the game mechanics. Or stubbornly forget all that and just get used to getting ganked by a mob because you zoned out by putting yourself into a click-induced coma as you walk back to your body as bears the day you clicked install and you slowly pare down the mobs camping your body in the ultimate walk of shame that you forgot about in the new era of autosave that makes it feel like walking back to get your wallet after a drunken one-night stand. Add a Dave and Busters. What do you mean, give up? Do you know how many skull I put in my Iron Nighty? Like, two? Take your furious clicking skills online and play Diablo 2 as it's meant to be played with some random guy named Sh Goblin 420 who runs at full speed towards the next quest objective at all times and then dies instantly to the first elite they actually fight who constantly brags about his Diablo 2 achievements because it's more fun than his actual life as a bank teller. Or stay unplugged and keep the killing to yourself. Then realize you have to clear stuff until the next waypoint before quitting or lose your progress, forcing yourself to make the hard decision between setting yourself back a couple of zones and taking your wife to the hospital or whatever. Long enough, honey. Haven't made it to the Black Marsh yet. That baby will be fine. So slip on those stones of Jordan and get ready to click your fingers off with a game you absolutely already know if you want to play or not, because you've definitely already played it. And making it look vaguely contemporary isn't going to change the basic brain chemistry that either makes the happy juice drop when you win the loot roulette or lets you live a happy, successful life as a normal person. That is, if the servers were ever up for you to actually play. Starring Jill Bezos, Symmetra, Iggy Pop, Ara Hora, Holistic Medicine, If It Were a Werewolf, Lady Deathstrike, Kratos at Home, and Clifford, the Big Red Dog. Diablo 2, Reclickening. Man, I can't wait to get to Endgame so I can do a bunch of Mephisto runs again. Am I having a midlife crisis right now? Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. If you mess with my waifu, you are risking your life -u. 
she was a legend. No, he was a legend. All right, no one knew what to call it. I am Jack Garland, here to kill chaos. Prepare to be stomped like a late harvest gawarts reminder.